everybody I'm so sorry it's been a few weeks since the last time I came to you but I wanted to show you guys a review of some Madame Glam's products that they recently sent me they reached out to me last month to see if I'd be interested in trying some products from theirs and then doing a review they did give me a discount code for you guys so if anything I show you today is interesting to you or you want to check out their website you can use the code Gabs Glam Room 35 to get a discount off your order I did have some issues getting this video to export for me so that's why it's so late so I do apologize for that um, but they did send me a top and base gel as well as three gel polish colors I did pick some colors that I felt like would work for the summer but also colors that I tend to gravitate towards so the first shade is envy that was kind of like a rosy tone nude and then I picked out this very bright vivid blue called lagoon this I felt like was very fun for summer and blue is my favorite color so I really wanted to go with something like this since I knew I would use it quite quite often. Then I went with more of a teal shade. This one is Prosperity and all of these shades are kind of like a flat cream color. They don't have any glitter or sparkle to them so they'll work with a lot of different nail designs. They also sent me their mini LED UV lamp. This has two different settings, a 45 second and 60 second timer. It folds up so that it's very very compact so if you are somebody who's wanting to travel with it it's really good it's a six watt lamp so it's not the strongest lamp out there but it's travel friendly beginner friendly and kind of DIYer friendly in my opinion um, I do think that it works really well if you are somebody who is more a fan of like traditional just straight gel polish manicures or if you're doing like smaller extensions I do show you here if you have a little bit longer of nails it does cover it but it doesn't cover it as well as I like to make sure that it's really getting all the areas and that I won't have any bubbling or lifting um, of the gel afterwards so I will say that's the only thing I feel like you might have an issue with is if you do like extreme length nails otherwise this type of lamp is perfect for beginners or really anybody who just wants something compact and small like this. Um, I do go in on my pinky and my thumb with the first shade that I showed you, the Envy color. This is, again, a rosy kind of nude. It is one of the perfect nudes, in my opinion, because it's that medium tone that I like for my skin tone. It has a little bit of warmth to it, but it's not so warm that it comes off peachy. It's kind of that perfect middle ground. Um, it's very opaque while also still being very thin. I do find that my favorite gels um, are ones that are very very opaque and you can get good coverage with you know one to two coats but I do notice that a lot of those gels are very thick um, which does end up bulking up the nail if you are somebody like me who tends to use these products over top of an enhancement versus just over your natural nail so I did go in with two coats of that as well as going in with a coat of their glossy gel top coat then for the color of this manicure, I'm going to go in with that Prosperity shade and I'm going to do two coats of this. Again, I'm curing in between each coat about 30 to 60 seconds depending on what I feel like I need at the time. 30 seconds is fine um, as long as you do a full 60 second cure at the end. So you make sure everything is cured all the way through. I do really like how this shade came out. Um, I think it does, does need two coats because there was uh, like some areas where I felt like you could see through it a little bit although this shade the lagoon shade was a little different this one I only did one coat and I felt like it gave me the full coverage look that I was really hoping for which was very surprising to me and I did really enjoy it because again when you're layering up different products it can really make the nail start to look bulky so I do enjoy when a product is thin while also giving me the level of opacity that I want from it so I did enjoy using this blue I think this one outside of the nude which is always my go-to this had to be my favorite of the two then once that was cured I went in with a layer of that gel top coat you do want to make sure that whatever you're using doesn't have a sticky layer because I am going to be doing a sugared nail so when you do that you don't want to have any stickiness or tackiness that you would have to wipe off so I am using that no wipe glossy top coat then I'm going in with this glitter by Young Nails and I'm going to sugar this on top of that entire nail just to give me some sparkle. This also has more of like a teal color to it so it will tie better in with that prosperity shade that I have on the other two nails. So you just want to make sure you go over the entire nail, shake off any excess, and then cure that fully so that it really grips to that gel. 
Now what I'm doing is I'm going in with some more of that top coat and I'm just kind of doing like a little abstract shape on the middle and uh, pointer fingers of my nails and I just do this to give me a little bit of like a fun funky design to go and sugar on top of so I am going in with that same glitter and I'm just going to sugar on top of that wet gel and do the same process once that's done shake off any excess and go ahead and cure that in your lamp and I do the same thing on both of these nails once your nail is fully cured you can go ahead and just dust off any excess glitter so that you get that kind of crisp line of where that design is and you shake off any excess that's gonna fall off. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with that blue lagoon shade and I'm taking a detail liner brush. This one's by Lisette Gel Nails and I'm just going to go and outline that abstract design. I feel like it really makes it pop and glitter doesn't have like a very defined edge. So this helps create like a defined shape um, while also just kind of highlighting the glitter and allowing me to tie in this blue. And I really, really liked how this set came out using these different colors I feel like they went really well and they were really fun and summery and added a cool pop of color I did end up forgetting to top coat the entire nail first before I went in with that sugared effect so I'm just going in with a small brush and I'm going to add some top coat to the rest of that nail just so that we have that glossy brilliant shine um, and we can finish off this look and there'll be no chipping so that is pretty much it I really enjoyed these gel polishes I do definitely have to try out more colors from their line if you again want to try out any of their products you can use the code Gabs Glam room 35 to get a discount off your order. I do want to thank Madam Glam for reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity to try their products, review it for you guys, and share it with you. Again, I apologize. It's taken me a little bit to get this video up. I typically don't like to do that and I'm especially sorry because it is in collaboration with a brand and not just a video of my own, um, but I have been struggling to get this video out to you guys and I'm happy to finally be able to bring that to you. So I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you do try any of their products. Um, if you do, let me know which ones you try and what you think of them down below because I'd love to try them as well. Um, and yeah, comment below what you would like to see from me in the future. Like this video if you'd like to see more videos like this down the line and subscribe to my channel to support me. I'm hoping to get to a thousand subscribers so it would really mean a lot. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye everybody!